Oh, 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 back at you. Venus. All right. So thank you for uh, letting me rest last. Fucking not welcome. I hated every minute of it. No. And then she immediately our, died our precious of DM was started. sick. So no, we had to skip uh, last week. I was week. perplexed because like Twitch, I, I tried to start the stream as well. Um. So anywho, uh, started blasting. Y'all need a recap because it's been two weeks. So. You had already really? pulled. Oh, not really. Okay, well then I'm dropping you right off. No, no, no. I said really. It's been two weeks. Ye. Uh, who's counting? We killed uh, our really first one on the list. I you really find yourselves. I really you, wanted the recap. <laughs> you find Which, yourselves in now. the great hall of Adolin's home. Outside the busted out door, there is a blown up gate in a smoldering crater from when V1 bid the front door. A couple dead bodies of guards that rushed out to meet you from the patrol that you vanquished before clambering inside to this room and taking out his guards and some of his lackeys with him. The fight was harrowing. People dropped dead multiple times. Hit points got low. It looked touch and go fair for a second as the Big Sweet's hand is just finishing, beating this man into a bloody pulp, this Adolin, this pretty boy blonde who was a warlock of some sort who was Grounded in this mystical armor and had this giant glowing great sword as all the stuff clambers to the ground his spectral armor disappears this three-armed drow ninja and this other drow warrior lay dead in their puddle a couple other guardsmen lay in this room uh, a couple things have fallen out of his possession uh just to remind you all we go and pick it up and what do we find? Well, I remember there was a letter that we couldn't read because it was so fucking bloody. Oh my god! Clute <laughs> cliff. Uh, welcome back for twenty six months. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're funny. You're funny. Yeah, death, death cult man. Oh yeah, Birdstrom said he could figure this shit out, but I, I don't know it. Well, Billy knows the cipher. But yeah, Billy knows the cipher. We have a badge. I forgot it was a thing. When all is in death, the wind I'm remains. Show all this crap in my bag of holding. Well, except for that third key. Now uh, you keep the keys. Well, we have three of them. Keys now. nuts. <laughs> oh God. Shut up. Sorry, I couldn't I help it. Keys nuts. Ooh, spell scrolls. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta turn that off. Forgot I'm about so that. Glad I put that in there. <laughs> All right. So everything but the key and the pig pen letter. I. I'm not a smart man. Are we good? That's a lot of stuff. Um. Any of y'all need shoulder pauldrons? These are actually like built into those heavy clothes. His blue oh. outfit that he was wearing. Oh. Shoulder pads. Adolin wears shoulder pads. It's Re very eighties. Scott, what that looks. Yeah, he was uncomfortably handsome. Uh, was that like a disguise or something, or was he just a d bag? Oh, it's not really because when he was fighting, hot. he definitely looks when, like when a he was fighting y'all. He looked like this. Oof, oof, daddy. Well, we ruined great. that himbo. So good shit. Looks <laughs> like I do every Saturday night. <laughs> Ruin himbos. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, that's my thing. So yeah, all roads in the party 
uh, if Billy would like to share, unless Billy's already recorded it, taken it down, that can be translated with the pink pen encryption. Let me know if you have any troubles. No, no. I, uh, do you want me to decrypt, decode it right now? It's up to you. If this is a this is literally a letter I'm giving you all as a party, and it's up to y'all whether you want to encrypt it or just throw it out. No, I want to know what the fuck is that. <laughs> Decrypt it. Go for it. Give me a second. Someone play the Jeopardy music. I mean, we can talk about other stuff. Like, who uses a two-handed weapon? Greatsword's two-handed, yes? Yeah. Yes. None of us use two-handers? But it's worth mm -hmm. a lot of money. Yeah, we're probably going to end up selling a lot, a lot of stuff. Of money. Does any of, do any of you actually use poisons? That drow poison can be helpful. Yeah, I well, I mean, I think all of us can. Yeah, we can. I can put it on my yeah. wraps, and as I'm beating people to to smithereens, I can poison them. Yeah, as long as you don't wipe your brow with it. Uh, oh, oh no. whoops! <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be me. Oh, oh for the just... fucking course. Hey, oh Rob. shit! I just poisoned myself. Yee. Uh, so I, I understand this is pig pen. Is it still A through Z, or do I have to figure out what the starting letter is? It's go A through Z, but yes, you're. Uh, if you've already started, you're gonna see that it's also in another cipher. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Fun, fun stuff. Uh, how about the spell yeah, scrolls? Not having a good time. Enthrall, silent image. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to use I, them. No. I think that's pretty much up to you and Alex, I would think. I mean, I think Silent Image is a utility spell that we could definitely keep on hand. Mm. Enthrall is something we definitely keep on hand. But I mean, Grease, I've got that. So no, no worries there. Uh, um, I'm going to. Anything that we're not taking out now, such as the seal, the pig pen letter, and the key, I'll throw in the bag of holding, and then we will oh, sell it all off. That sounds good. Uh, the Those... keys, though, I'm definitely curious what the hell was behind that big old door. Yeah. Actually, can I keep that silver ring with a garnet? Uh, yes, let me remove that from the loot list. Cool, I'm just going to wear that. I'm sure it looks gorgeous. It do. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. Let's it's how, uh, it's how he brings the himbos closer to destroy him. Oh, it's how I lure him in. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, Rob, can we get transported to that big door now that we have all three keys? Yeet. Yeah. As you guys head back through the door and down the stairs. Um, Alright. I'll start inserting keys in the locks. And do they all have to... If I turn one, does anything happen? Or do I have to, like, turn all three? Do I have to have, like, help? Or can I put them in and turn them one at a time? Yeah, as you put them in and try to turn them, if you go one at a time, it doesn't move. As you have all three inserted and you try to move one, it, like one eighth turns and like stops and you could feel like tension right. and so like then I, yeah. I just need someone with i need a third hand i'm helping okay yeah okay. count one two three turn <laughs> turn them all at once i hope Turning we don't get electrocuted the there is like pressure releases because uh. there was positive pressure behind the door Okay. Hot air just like blows in all your faces, like Prim's hair gets blown back with this like hot air just like poof. The oh, no. keyholes <laughs> set in, like pull the keys in with them till they're flush with the door. Oh no. And it begins to uh settle into the ground, revealing the chamber below uh ahead of you as this very red lit up chamber with <laughs> flame walls this oh. demon trapped on this diocese ah, chained before two fucking pillars it's a DJ. and right, red 
red lightning is just crackling from this guy from this demon's body as it's just like sitting there and like bellowing out in pain and suffering. How do DJ I close demon. The door? Pain and suffering. DJ Demon. Oh wait. How do we send it back? <laughs> Wait, didn't you guys have like a PTSD moment of this? Yeah, yeah, in the the crystal. The red foggy crystals in the other room that we didn't want to pick up. Does he look familiar? Is that the guy that pushed me? Oh, the guy that pushed you was wearing clothes and was largely humanoid and his skin was almost translucent or looking like fire. This Different very... dude. I assume. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself. Yeah. Didn't think this through. Oh. Well, I feel bad if it's hurt. <laughs> and trapped. What's a, what's a demon? Can we Are just send it to Satan? their... Their... Because he's not supposed to be here. Can we send him back? <laughs> to hell? Just, yeah, just cut him loose. I'm sure he'll go home peacefully. No, I don't so like... No, thankful. I don't trust that. So thankful. I have we had a long rest or anything? Does anybody no. have no. a banish spell? Yes. Okay. So if we banish him, and we can hold him off for a minute, he should stay unless he fights to come back. Well, Does that's... anyone speak demon? Birchstrom is the ability to banish. With his I also have the ability to speak demon. I speak well, abyssal. I don't know if that's demon. I'm... Oh, God. Okay, I'm rolling up the parchment. Hold on. <laughs> He's like on the floor like a kid coloring his feet. Yeah. Banish it, banish it, banish it. I was reading. He's like, come on, guys. Uh, so do you want me to banish it? Yeah. You want me to make him banished? I don't want him around if he looks like, I don't know. Do Look, we either smite it or we banish it. <laughs> it's he's he's chained between the two pillars and can't oh. move up the dais. Well, then, then disregard that thing. I thought... But he, he looks in anguish as this, like, red lightning, like, crackles out from him to the, uh, to, to, to the room, to the edges of the room. Oh, that's just how they're making their demon-infused yeah, weapons they're... with the obsidian. They're milking him. Yeah. Oh, they got right. the one that looks like had All a right. cow body, so they milked him. Uh, I'm gonna walk you in. You can tell from the wall of flame that's in the back of the room that you could see, like, altars, an altar beyond it. Okie dokie. Um, I, I would prefer we just banish him. Mm -hmm. Okay. We talk, we uh, him. He's in pain. Uh, I, can, no. I, I can hit him with a banishing shot. Does anybody have the ability to talk to him? I only speak Sylvan now. I, I speak Abyssal. Yeah, talk to him with Abyssal. Ask him if he would like to leave. And we're here to save him. A party consensus? Go uh, ahead and do it, brother. Yeah, I want him to I, go home. Speak abyssal to him from a safe distance. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you are here against your will. Can we banish you back to your plane of existence? Answering an abyssal and in your head, everybody else just oh, sees him struggling. Fuck. He goes, he's, it's in your head that you hear his, his gruff uh, voice. You lock me here against my existence. You all will pay. All right, so not true. We didn't do anything. We <laughs> killed everybody here because we don't agree with what they're doing. So, and yet here I am, chain still being siphoned. You that's... will pay. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's trip. the whole point. We're our, yeah, we're offering to send you back to your plane of existence so that you're not being ciphered any siphoned anymore. You all mortals of this realm possess this ability. Possess what ability? Who bring in court demons and transcend things to different planes not of this existence? I fucking hope not. I just want to send you home, buddy. We can do it by killing him. And break this curse. How? There. This is your world, you tell me. Ah, well, fuck, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I just banish him. Fuck it.
So I relay standing, everything that was said inside my head. Standing where you are as you try to cast Banishment and it goes off, you see right in front of you the the, the air shimmer as the spell rebounds. Ah! Like this yellow line here. Okay, so as, he's protected. As if, as if right where the two braziers are that you're standing in front of, like the whole space right there kind of shimmers as if he's in a certain area separate from where you're in. So we need to free him first. I, I will also tell you, now that you're all kind of standing here and kind of watch uh, Alec kind of like talk out loud in abyssal, but like not hearing a response. As the, the red lightning's crackling and it's like, you can see it now going through the, the walls of fire and you hear you see it strike off the walls and make scorch. There's a point in time where the lightning shoots forward at you all, but it also stops in the air right in front of you between the two brazels, brazers and just kind of like stripes off and nothing. Oh, that's scary. Right, right, it's like right. The fi- it's like the fire is protecting us or something. Maybe if we keep moving the fire, the lightning won't touch us. Uh, are they like floor braziers or could one be picked up? They they are floor braziers. They're like, you know, four feet wide, little uh, bins where a cups of uh, coals burning fire, uh, a good pyre. I reach out and try to touch the shimmering barrier. Uh, as you reach out and you're like, your hand goes beyond the, the, uh, the, the space in front of you, you can feel like your hand, your fingertips and hands as it goes beyond your five foot square get like hotter as like another quick lightning as your this is the, like the back of your, the hair on the back of your hand stands up and the lightning arc kind of like comes up and like tickles you um give me a con save Ooh. uh you only take three lightning damage i pull my hand back out fuck i'm gonna light up my dagger first light and huck it at the demon and i'm gonna steady right. my aim I was going to say, yeah, range attack. Roll to hit. The dagger tumbles end over end through the air. As it passes through the space in front of everybody, in front of Alex, you actually see, you all see like a shimmer of blue. Um, As the dagger rotates through the air, the lightning doesn't seem to affect it, and it actually makes its target, stabs into the demon, you hear him, he, he roars out physically, and like the room kind of shakes a little bit. That should be 8 rating damage if it makes any difference. But why? <laughs> well, it does. It, looks only it physical. does, as he, as he yells out, and he struggles against his bondages. Uh, a- 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 Alex, in your mind, he yells at you and he says, You're no worse than those that imprison me. Make this quick. Oh, fantastic. I tried. Huh. Everybody, shoot him. Shot shoot. goes wide. Shoot him. Shoot him. He wants to die. Alright, is it just me and you, Alex? Yeah, I mean, fuck it. I'm ready to go again. This seems cruel. He is literally blaming us for every problem. Yeah. Yeah, hey, well, we don't it's... even know how long he's been trapped here being tortured. I can't he really... Make it quick. He's a demon? I don't care. Ugh. I don't believe he has the ability to not be evil. I don't think he gets to go to therapy for this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to take that 12 because the blunderbuss from where you're standing would be at disadvantage. That's fine. Okay. So that that's going to miss. Okay. Slate gets a hit on the longbow. That's just all regular. With three psychic... Makes a difference. Uh, Alex, the entire time he starts like 
dem demeaning you, and he's like, I hope your world burns from the way you treat our kind. Yep. Nope. I get it, buddy. Our feelings mutual. I'm not the invader. You displaced me. I didn't do every, shit. Every time one of these hit attacks hits, like, lightning, like, viciously arcs in y'all's direction, but obviously, uh, standing on this side of the braziers, it stops. Uh, I mean, can we just go till he dies? Is he gonna do anything? No, he's he's really proficiently chained between these two pillars and like can't move off this dais. Ah, so we just fucking kill him where he stands. You guys are just slowly torturing him with your plain weapons. I hate this. Mine's well, magical. look, I don't have any uh, any more radiant. Oh, don't do I? Mine's magical. Well, if this is a mercy. Oh, the mercy for me. Oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> it is a demon. Doesn't make me feel better. I only yeah, argue I that you shouldn't grappling. feel bad. <laughs> for a whole minute. Uh, and he's at this, and you guys are going to keep on shooting him. So as the moonbeam plinth comes down... He, uh, he's, he's literally physically yelling out in agony, and, uh, he's just, in your head, Alex, he's just cursing your whole race. And then he starts cursing all of civilization on this plane. How dare you take such, you know, deal with things that you don't understand. He continues to demean how your treatment of his kind that, like, you know, didn't even know of this plane, didn't, wasn't even worried about this plane, hopes that his, his, uh, his, um, his demon king finds you all and like completely uh, kills you in brutal and humiliating ways as eventually after all your guys' attacks he, the body finally slumps slack uh, you know the chains keep him taut and kind of don't prevent him from slumping all the way to the ground uh. the lightning arcs from him stop but the flame walls continue It's trap. Keep shooting. I'm, I'm, get rid of the moonbeam, and I'm just going to pray to fail. I'm not happy. <laughs> well. uh. There's still a barrier here. Uh, it was. I mean, to a degree, but like, if you put your hand through it, like the. Uh... You don't get the raised hair. Lightning doesn't arc at you. Nope, oh, there's the man. Oh. <sighs> hey, buddy. We, Jim. Hot up. Hot up. Howdy. Sorry, I was getting my my weave did. All right, can I jump through the here yes. and try to go through the barrier? Yeah, you, you step through the barrier. You feel, like, the electrical charge of, like, transitioning something that was magical. <clears throat> and a protection of some sorts you come into the room it's still the hotness and heat um obviously the steam is now dead the lightning's not arcing from him anymore but he's like his <laughs> arms are like pulled out towards these uh pillars and he's just kind of like hanging there um wow. as you guys come in and see the additional walls of fire you see the other two altars that are kind of behind the walls of fire and on these altars each they're like a table with four legs, and each one of the four legs is this dark obsidian glass. Um, but like as you walk past and whatnot, you're you just see the end of like red, red coloring like sink downwards in the glass, and now it's just red. Uh, it's just black glass pillars holding up these marble tables that have uh, this ruby sitting on top. So there's a ruby sitting here. Uh, is it right, smoky? Them, yeah. You can't tell because you're looking through a uh, wall of flame. Ah. Sure. Smell of wine and cheap perfume. I shoot the ruby. Oh, man. Roll the hit. Uh, 21. Wait. Uh, You fire off. You see it kind of like sitting in its plinth. You see it kind of like rock, but you don't see where the bullet is. As like, uh, it just kind of sits on the table still. What if we put out these uh, braziers? Braziers? Uh, cool. you? Um, Prim, can you create water? 
Uh, I can shape water if, because uh, I have my own thing, so I could probably just pour. I, I have water on me. I can pour it on oh, you. Oh, yeah, so I just didn't want to waste it if we didn't have to. But Yeah, um, I don't have create water. Yeah, I'm going to pour water into this brazier and hope to, like, put it out. If it's As you pour out. water into the brazier and it goes out, you do see, like, that red shimmer feel that you walk through. You, it, you see it kind of, like, from the brazier away, like, woo. And fade away. Oh, sweet. It's our sauna episode. Hell yeah, it's fading. <clears throat> uh, anyone have some more water? I yeah, do. pour yeah, in the crowns. That brazier goes up. Alright. And then we hear the little ghost from Stardew Valley go, ooh. <laughs> Why don't we just douse the walls with water? Uh, you throw water on the wall of flame and it and evaporates immediately. Can I try and throw one of those obsidian spears that we have and try and hit one of those legs made of obsidian to see if I can break it? Sure. Roll hit. Uh, 5,000. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> it plinks off of it. Is that with strength or dex? Spears, I think, are uh... yeah, just strength range. Or, well, uh, I got nothing for this. Whichever one you want, really. Your yeet skill. Oh, y'all. Oh, yeah, strength, strength or dex. Okay. Oh, they are finesse. Okay. It's what it says in the. Throne. Yeah, you can, spear you can either is, use the your spear strength. is finesse, then yeah, you can use strength or dex. I definitely, I'll throw it. Shoot her! Hmm, good, a one. Well, it's not finesse, it's ranged throne, versatile. Yes, but if you look but, at the, yeah, the thing... Yeah, no, I, uh, I am, I'm just, yeah, strength or dex, I see it. Under the throne property. You Under toss the, the spear scene. through the wall of fire. The wall of fire seems to be roaring so hot that it actually knocks the trajectory off. Is this one of them walls that I might have to mm. roll a deck savings throw if well, I run Does anybody it? have like a mage hand or something? Oh, yeah. Yes. Alex. Prepare my shitty body. <laughs> oh, God. oh, please, no. I'm gonna run through and do the, the thing. He's ending it all. You're gonna go. You should go step through it. I don't have that. Go step, Cap. Dexterity saving throw. A what? A dexterity saving throw. Would this wall be magic of sorts? Absolutely. A twenty-two. <laughs> He's fast as fuck. You only take 2,700 damage. 17? You take 17 damage of fire. I challenge you to say that I am very evasion-like and say I take no damage. Got him. <laughs> Evade this Rogue's got, object. Rogue's got a rogue. <laughs> he somehow evaded an entire wall of fire by walking through it. Well, yeah. Mechanics. I mean, complete <laughs> contact with it, but I'll evade it. I'm so fast. I'm fast as fuck, boys. I don't think you get it. I think we have seen that you are fast as fuck. I'm actually yeah, so fast. fast as fuck. We, uh, we need you to go Captain so fast that Stanley. time turns backwards. I'm faster. I'm almost as fast as Rob on four fucking <laughs> shots of screwball. So what are you doing now that you're past the wall? I'm going to take the spear, another spear, since we have like a fuck jillion of them, and I'm going to fucking Two. try and... Whatever, whatever, they don't matter. I'm going to try and shatter one of the legs on this table since it's made of That's obsidian, cool. right? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to try and break it. Because uh, I don't know what these tables do, and I don't like them. There you, you go. swing with all your strength to smash the spearhead against the table leg. I will say both obsidian things shatter, but I will say as soon as you make contact, you see the, do the demon-infused spear, the redness that was glowing in it immediately jump from the spear tip and go into the table leg and travel down. As, oh. as when you hit it, glass, 
the spearhead shatters and you shatter off a chunk of that leg on that side. There's another level below us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I repeat this to the men. And yeah. I repeat, oh, there's another level below us. <laughs> We're just man. body slam this demon the dead one. onto the ground to go to the next level. It's me, the demon. Uh... Is the demon standing on a hatch? I don't know. No, it's no, a he's, no. he's standing on a raised dais. What's... This is some ritual shit, like always. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go over there and try to move him then. Where's the hell bomb when you need it? The, the, his the arms chains, are chained. Yeah, the chains holding him up are pretty tight. Same. Wouldn't Same. the floor legs lead to okay. whatever then pillars Samson, he was locked to? My Samson-like strength, I'm going to pull him off of these pillars and let the pillars come down. Uh, roll to try to break these chains. Athletics? Sure. Or strength? I feel like that would be Athletic strength, strength but... It? Yeah, okay. That checks out. I've seen it. Oh. oh God. <laughs> oh, it's fuck. annoying. It's annoyingly wonderful to watch you play this game. <laughs> it, everybody loves it. Oh, for sure. You consider where the chain is and how tall it is and how it's holding up his wrists and his arms and he's he can't you know, he's he's slumped dead, he's dead weight. His feet have given out, but his body's still held up by these chains. And where they are anchored into these two pillars, it's just hanging on there. You give it a quick little test with like one hand, try to shake it, you feel the tension in it, and you immediately wrap your two arms around it and you twist and you like jump and do a flip and you at, use some kind of physics trick to your advantage where it just literally the the side where it, it bolts into the pillar gives free and the and uh, literally like pulls out of the pillar letting this body like finally fall limp to the ground um he'd be still chained on the one side though cuz you're kind of small and he's kind of big okay fine i got one off and so we'll just move him off to the side now It's so fucked up. Alright. You see the stone dais that he was standing on top of? You could you could tell that, you know, his hooves have, like, definitely dug in and, like, scratched. And he's... he's and there's a lot. Like, you can tell he's been here quite a while. Oh, he, he really gave a good, good attempt to wrestle and... Oh, excuse me, to rustle free. Right, uh, this fucking rock gnome comes in here and snaps the chain. Hey, man. <laughs> he looks at this demon and is like, <laughs> poultry. <laughs> Too bad he's dead. <laughs> uh, I look at the uh, the pedestal now and see if uh, it looks like it could move or may have, like, feel air around it to see if there's any air that's trying to escape or go into the possible next level solid solid construction it's like black stone even down on the bot on the very bottom i mean you can't see on the very bottom because it's like you know the the couple of steps up back down to the bottom floor you're standing on stone tiles of like epic proportions and it's all like very well done. We we're very well built in here. Okay. Well, he was rich as fuck, so. Adolin, well, I mean. He wasn't guarding the entrance to the uh, next level. Unless there's a possible uh, Jerry switch that opens this thing up and it is actually a door. I mean, we were in the lower levels before when we took the elevator last time and there were a bunch of dwarves digging, so... Diggy diggy holes. True. Diggy diggy these holes. I've been so... Uh, uh Commodore still has to get past the uh, firewall again, so... Hell yeah, bro! There's that. <clears throat> Should I pen penetrate that firewall? Should I still continue to try and break the fuck out of these things? You do you. 
I think like the ruby on top has something to do with this. Oh, <laughs> wait. Take the ruby. Yeah, what's on top of the ruby's on top of that, right? Yeah, you. The ruby the is on you top. Didn't shatter to you gonna pry touch it? Out. it? I'm gonna touch it. I hope that doesn't throw you. Oh boy! It's actually very cold to the touch, but you oh. uh, you're still standing there in this room. Oh thank God! Hell yeah! Damn the. I like that instead of saying you're fine, he just says you didn't get teleported to a different plane. Thank God! Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. You gain a ruby worth two hundred gold. Nice, big. Too bad the wall didn't come down. <clears throat> Too bad. Uh, fuck it, I'm jumping through to get this ruby. Dexter! Here, 200 gold? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> you so take fast. 18 fire damage! Wow. That's not that bad. I grab the ruby! And a ruby worth 200 gold. I would have laughed so hard if that one was counterfeit. <laughs> How the fuck? But, uh... The walls look like they're diminishing. Nope. Like if we take this third one. Nope. Nope. Walls are still roaring as a wildfire. Alright, so the obsidian leg of the table, does it look like it goes into the floor? Like, to the lower level? From what you can tell, there's like the base of the table, which is like its own marble slab. And it's got like... Uh gunmetal rings at the bottom of the leg where the obsidian is the leg and then it's like a thick three inch diameter obsidian pillar and there's four of them at each corner and that rises up into another um gunmetal ring to the top marble tabletop that's that is the altar can i push the marble tabletop off no you can tell it's one solid construction uh -huh. it's not flimsy What happens if I touch the obsidian? It's up to the obsidian. You can tell it's glass obsidian. Oh. Can you guys hear me? Uh, well, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, good news, <coughs> bad news. Good news. Uh, Birchstrom completed the whole coded codex. He deciphered it. Bad news is is that Birchstrom's computer closed it. So. What the fuck is a computer? <laughs> so, Rob, I am going to orate to you what I remember about it, and then I will tell you the the password or the codex that you used, and if I am correct, can you give me it verbatim? Yes. Okay, so you used a pig pen cipher and then took that and transposed it into a Caesar cipher, but you went plus 17 on every letter. The way... The, the way the note reads, it says, uh, leave Mask alive, kill the Crete, link up in Manilus, or Manlius with Lieutenant Baraka at the Orange Turtle. If I think that's as, as much as I could remember of it. You did it. I will copy and paste it. He's cheating. <laughs> that's yes. fucked up. I kill all computer. of us and leave Mask alive. Mask is the same. I, I had a feeling like once you translated it, you're gonna be like, "Oh, I see the," and then you're gonna be like, "Yep, it's J." Done. Yeah, as, as soon as I as soon as I saw that, I was like, "Oh, I know what we're doing here, you sneaky snake!" Ah, I like puzzles and snakes. I almost had it. Right, so we have to go to Manlius. Uh, uh, I am yes. I'm now and... gonna walk out of this fire. All right, Dex save Qu quickly. Unless you're just walking and you're gonna take it. No, no, no. We're gonna do. Take this. it. Just take it. Twenty six. I'm too fast uh, for my you own take, good. You take. You you only take. Uh, you take eight damage. I take no damage. I'm so nimbly, nimbly. Sorry, nine. It was gonna be nine fire, but okay, sure. <laughs> All right. So I used blink and I rolled higher than a one. I rolled higher mean? than an eleven. Which means I get to blink. Go, yeah. I go you to know the that you refreshed plane. your eyeballs. Yeah. Ah, uh, all right. So Alex is standing on the other side of the fire, and you all just suddenly see him disappear. Bye. Alex, yes, you 
you're standing in this room. You don't see the fire, but in the ethereal plane, you see th you are standing next to a vortex that's pulling down. Um, you see the room in like gray overtone. Um, you see spectral images of your friends, like in shifting patterns of kind of what their true selves and what they actually look like. But do I see that vortex under each of the tables? Just kind of. Yep. I attempt to. Pachow! It so doesn't I... affect you. Right. And then I guess I pop back into existence. All right. Everybody, Alex blinks back into existence in front of y'all on the other side of the wall of fire. All right, so that was creepy. Anybody know about the ethereal plane? No, but that's one way to do it to get outside the wall of fire. Yeah, so uh, these altars, uh, from what I witnessed inside of the ethereal plane, is some kind of a energy vortex, I'm guessing, paraphrasing, and it's siphoning down below witness us. Witness me. Yeah. So we going down. I guess. I guess we're going down to destroy the vortexes. I mean, unless we want to take a nappy nap. Maybe a short rest. A short rest, a short rest would be good. Yeah, the, yeah I we, would love a short rest. Lock this door from the inside with those sweet three keys. <laughs> yeah, no, they're all gone. the way down. Oh, okay. Fuck it. Uh, t t cat, no go on watch. Cat who cannot be surprised. <laughs> Kind of unsurprise. I have to give my brain a rest. Okay, short rest, yes. Ah, uh, fuck, long rest. Fuck that shit. Yeah, we're we're, we're definitely resting. Rest As you guys start to try to short rest and like sit down in this room with the oppressive heat and the wall of flames, uh, only a couple minutes later, do deer gun sh soldiers show up and say, "Halt!" Did you find yourselves? No. Oh. <laughs> wow. Take the word right out of my mouth. Oh, Wait. Boy. I tell you, it is bald. Got him. We flash him. I just put my hands up. Fucking flash bang. What's, um. What are those two soldiers' names? Wingus and Dingus. Got him. <laughs> you mean downstairs? The yeah, ones that worked for Adolin? Yeah, he knows the one. I thought I didn't think they were deer gunnian soldiers. I thought that they were like Yeah, those were Adolin's guards. guards. Smooth, yeah, smooth these are deer gunnian soldiers. I'm hoping that they were sent by um people yeah, that absolutely. like us, but I have a feeling they're not. They're probably workers for the shitty governor. The, the shitty CEO. We uh, uh, wave them in. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking yeah, come on is in. the dead demon. Come on in quickly. Surround yourself with us. You see what alien's been up to? Oh. Cat will move. To is a fucking side. demon? There's the demons afoot. I still oh, keep my hands guys. mostly up. Hey, maybe, hey, maybe we just eh? throw them in the wall of fire. No. Again, I'm asking you all to identify yourselves as you don't look like any of those who were on the top floor. Are you responsible for killing the noble Adolin? Absolutely not. No. In fact, look what he's done to, with that thing over there. Mm, Just the look at him. Chap. We didn't kill a noble man. We killed a demon summoner. Demon. Who happened to be a noble? That's Who neither here nor there. You tricked you into thinking he's a noble one. Oh, the nobles. You all are fucking dumb. Alright, we're doing checks? Yeah, I need deception checks from uh, Captain and uh, Slate for who. I'm not saying shit. Died. Huh? Just stand there like. Mm. Oh, I'm the fucking greatest what at being you? the worst. I need a deception check from you if you responded. <clears throat> oh. With, with the apparent lie. Uh, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. You just told them we're humble travelers. In somebody's house that they'd know? 
we were teleported. Oh, look, we're I traveling. Didn't realize I've traveled a raided this man's house in the basement, past a large door with dead guards outside. We sensed the demon and we came to liberate them, but they wouldn't let us under, liberate under them. The, under the law and orders of the Governor Krieg, I'm going to hereby have to ask you all to be detained. I'm going to have you're going to have to walk out of that room with your hands up and come upstairs with us. Oh, I forgot to Ooh. tell you, did you get the memo? Absolutely not. What is you the will charge? be questioned. I bet we will. You're currently questioning me. <laughs> Please cease. I just Keep your hands up and away from your weapons. I what? feel like... What's the charge? I, I, yeah, and, and I, what yeah. If, and what if I There's no charge yet. Up. We're bringing you in for questioning. We were alerted to the front gate being exploded. We see that Adolin and his entourage are dead upstairs, and we found you down here with nefarious things going on, whatever that oh, thing yeah, is. Yeah, no, totally. We had so much fucking time to come down here and set all of this shit up. Are you fucking stupid? If you wish to continue giving us these statements, we will then get it recorded, but we will question quite... you further upstairs. I would Heard like to get out balls. of this oppressive heat. It's upstairs. We're oh not my going god. I just keep my hands up. I go with them. Oh I my god. Going. Now they have just, a human shield. Yep, there you just go. Just upstairs. Yes. Alright. I will I'll go up I'll go upstairs with you, but I'm keeping my weapons. Oh fine, yeah. My hey, hands we're not are still disarming up. you. We're just asked that you keep your hands well away right. from your weapons. Fair, fair enough. Oh, I will pockets. keep my hands where you can see them. My hands are the weapon. <laughs> right up your ass. I'm gonna squeeze around up there. Like, All right, I'll follow him upstairs. The captain just walks behind Arn with his hands on Arn's head, digging his claws in, kneading, <laughs> just making biscuits on Arn's head. Hey man, if I can get my hands on them. I may have to strangle a bitch. Oh my god, they're it? just doing their there jobs. There may be a legal way to do this. I'm okay. We're just doing with... our jobs too. I'm I'm going to tell the truth and nothing let's, but the truth. <laughs> I'm going go to tell you whatever it is you needed me to say. Can I now add Demon Slayer to my resume? <laughs> no. Can can I can I? We now don't know add who got the final or... hit. Hey, can I now Even add Breaker of Chains to my bit? Fine, but I'm calling you Khaleesi forever. Oof. Yes. <laughs> yes, Dragon Mommy. <laughs> oh, right, we got let's... Dick on and Dick off and uh and Rick on. Dude, I'll dick off. Clean. Oh, done. Okay, I've been I've been dicking off this whole game. Never you even, even would have known it was there. Dick it's clean off. Smeg you later, bud. <laughs> All right, you guys are brought back into the gate room. You see more soldiers standing by and a couple uh, of cler cler clerics like taking inventory of like what they're seeing and whatnot oh, as they march into guys. the room yeah, together and whatnot. Inventory of the dead. Yeah, we did kill these guys. I forgot. You the forgot. the officer with the tricorn hat and the 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 linen the um for the green lining uh you know looks at looks between slate and masks as you guys have been talking he's like all right I, you still didn't identify yourselves i'm gonna have to i need your names for the record where does his record go oh my god i love that everyone just remains fucking silent <laughs> nobody is willing to comply you you <laughs> the want record my name goes with the governorial guard of Sackett's Harbor. You want my name? Ask your mother. She was screaming it all last open. night. No, please comply name? if you do not wish to be held in contempt, and for that you would be charged. Contempt, contempt these balls. balls. Classic. Primrose, Jill Fane. You want my name? <laughs> what? what? It, you can't handle my name. Oh my god. Well, Primrose <laughs> caved. It's not caving. I tell you know the truth. That my Feathered quill and parchment can handle your small name. It doesn't matter <laughs> what you can handle. <laughs> then what are you? Shut that! Shut up. <laughs> As like Slate's like telling him to shut up, you see this officer <clears throat> snap his finger at one of the uh, clerics, and the cleric pulls out a uh, scroll scroll and goes whoosh, and cast it. Uh, silence was just cast on arm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I am a hundred percent positive everybody there would just laugh at him. Can you, no. can you not cast spells, my friends? Yeah, true. I mean, teach me that one, but not cast spells on people. What was the spell, girl? I'll spell you his balls. I'll score sure spell. Wait a minute. I'm just going to spell my balls. I'm just going to keep on talking now. 
or yeah. act like I'm talking. Yeah, That's the your mouth is gone, but no sound. De definitely be giving him the middle finger uh, with both hands. Blunt. Hey, right, we so are. What do you want our names for? We are asking for cooperation here before things have to get to my difficult. Please uh, yeah, yeah. start with your names. Oh, uh, did you write down Primrose's name? If it was given, I didn't hear it given. She did. I said it. Primrose, okay, Jill Fane. Cool. Takes the whole name. Thank you, Miss. Type Alex. And does Alex have a family? <laughs> no. I like to start crying. Not a live one. I make I make that face. My condolences, sir. You know the face. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Then. Late. Take it your family is also ceased? No. Do you have a last name? A surname? Also no. Very well. You in the mask? Do I even ask for you to take it off? Negative. Name? Mask. You see him like roll alive. his eyes and start to get annoyed he's with these like alive. one single names. He looks over <clears throat> to the half elf aquatic. You? <clears throat> All My right, name is Bertstrom Woodfin. It's very nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Woodfin. <laughs> is it a pleasure to meet you? Uh, oh, this, is and... Cat. Cat, this is Cat. Cat, this is Cat. Cat can't speak. Cat has a name. It's Cat. And what about your other member here who can no longer speak now for the next ten minutes? Oh, that's up to him to decide whether he wants to give you his mm -hmm. name or not. You'll have to unsilence him, and I Maybe you have impeded your own duties. You probably don't want to unsilence him. See him scribble onto his parchment. Oh. Are you members of any crew of a ship? Yes. Ship name? The Mast Maiden. <laughs> Very well. Captain? The mask. Of the Mast ah. Maiden. Good to know <laughs> that I'm speaking to the captain of the Mask Maiden. Oh, but you rolled your eyes when I told you my name before. Be, 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 be. I did not believe that I am in the presence of so many people without surnames. Anywho. Present these who would like to give me their first statement as to why we found you in a basement with a dead demon and a dead naval nobleman upstairs? You can't mind your own business. Fucking Not God. when there are explosions going off in our port city. All right, well, the explosion was my fault. Yeah, that Thank was true. Thank you for the admission. Why did you explode the front gate to Adolin's Manor? I can't remember if we used it as a distraction or if we bum-rushed the front gate. No, it they... made it really easy to enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was definitely... We didn't do our normal where we blow the front gate and go in the back door. We actually just blew the front gate this time and went in the front gate. Yeah. So you've chosen to frontal assault the noblemen of Ad Adolin. That was First a tough all, choice. I will tell you. We didn't you, assault we anybody. We contemplated. Yeah. He's dead. Well, yeah, we did. Look at those drow. Look at how drow's <laughs> right? Assaulted the fuck out of that dude. Yeah. Well, nope. oh. the salt he the assaulted dirt. that man. He's right. They're he taking dirt naps. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They did start it, though. Stop it. Right. You've blown up the gate. You've killed the guards outside. Rushed into the house. Killed everybody in here. Now where? Now take me to where you go downstairs and you summon a demon. Ah, he was already here. We no, did not summon a there. demon, sir. A demon was there and chained to the wall, and they're siphoning his power into some kind of a vortex under those tables. And the demon was screaming no. at me in abyssal, and then we killed it to end its suffering. How about and the then obsidian I stuff they're strength. making down here? Oh yeah, and then all that obsidian that's been <laughs> buying up, and I pull out one of the demon spears, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's a demon power infused obsidian spear mm -hmm. that they've been mass producing here under Adolin's watch and care. Adolin is part of a death cult. Oh, and then well, I'm like, Adolin's... Show him the badge. You see... Show him the badge. You see him, Show mention... him, the badge. <laughs> you see him uh, motion one of the soldiers to take one of the spears from you? To I look at it? Him. As he grabs uh, it, he... <laughs> he also takes one of the spears as uh, another clerk and soldier come up from the, ups uh, from the downstairs and comes through the back door and says, We found another room to the north. It looked like a church of some sort, and on a back room we found a dozen of bodies, most of them wearing cultist robes. Died yeah, well, in the battle, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because they're tree. cultists. Death cultists. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the death cult? I'd show them the, oh. the little symbol and i'm like have you ever heard of these guys they're trying to summon demons and use demon powers and use obsidian to summon more trollocs and whatever the heck those yeah. things are Kidnap and if you daughters, want the long version of all the truth i will stand in a zone of truth and tell you the whole dang story we could just his eyes the, are uh, wide as he's part. fiercely trying to keep up with his quill ink and parchment <laughs> oh i thought he could handle it and all these questions you're hindering us from finding where the you next. Still you're still. <laughs> you still can't talk. Your mouth is just going. Minute. Oh, oh yeah. I'm waving my hands around and all, all sorts of stuff. Yep. Do you show him the roster or the attendance? The, I, the, the I show him the whole list because you know how I, I am you. about the list. <laughs> he, he asks where you got it. Oh, I tell him about uh, Arakawa Island and all the the demon dungeons we've found, and we're trying to clear them out. I'm telling him about the the cohorts with the slavers and how we've been trying to save slaved kids. Well, I'm telling the hive mind. Everything. They're almost as bad as the kobolds. Oh, if yeah. you let me go, I'll just like motor mouth it. I tell the truth and nothing but. She's a oh, motor mouth sis. son of a cook, <laughs> sis. Let her cook. <clears throat> Don't cook. Um, Go no ahead, put me in a donut, donut of truth. Do it. Put her in I will the say donut the exact same thing I'm telling you right now. A donut of truth on her. I just shake the list very angrily. I'm like, we these people are bad. They're trying to murder people. Now we found a demon in this man's uh, basement. We don't know what else they're going to summon. We've dealt with uh, God, the, the monkey dungeon. That demon monkey hated that. Oh, that the skull one. man. The nightmare fuel yep. in uh -huh. Dairy King that we had to handle. You want to talk about that? I'll talk about that. <laughs> she hasn't been sleeping. As you're going on about this, year. another man appears at the back door and like kind of pushes it open and says, uh, elevator went down. We found three dwarves uh, just sleeping. Mining yeah, obsidian, harm huh? Didn't, didn't harm the dwarves <laughs> because they weren't bad guys. Yeah, they've been forced to be mining for who knows how long. Forced into slave labor, which is highly frowned Oh, we don't upon. know if they were slaves. They might have been getting paid. We don't know. Rock but you, tubby, tubby, tubby. You, you see the guy come <laughs> further in and whisper to this captain, and then the uh, this officer like looks back and meets uh, Bridgestorm's eyes and says, "What do you know about the employment of two guards in the basement?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, my yeah. friends. Jesus. And then I run. No. Uh. I don't run. Cheese it. Fuck. Yeah, no, they're just, uh, they're not <laughs> very bright. Who they're do you guys work for again? You tricked them. <laughs> very confused. I, I asked them all who they work for again. We're Deer Gun City Guards. We work for the governor. <clears throat> yeah, you work for the here. current governor, oh, yeah, right? The one who it? was uh, put in place after the last one mysteriously vanished. Oh, I guess we're Do you have any information about him? that? Of why Governor Stefan has mysteriously vanished? Because we found yep. him we in Adolin's basement, and we saved him from being murdered after being yep. a slave to mine in the basement. He caught the and black lung, and I cured Also hit emotions. You see him, like, motion two fingers and, like, at the door, and, like, you see a couple guards, like, move to the front door and close it, and he says, he looks at you all very sternly, and he goes, I'm inclined to believe everything that this man this ma'am is saying, especially her willingness to go into a zone of truth. However, we don't have inquisitor powers to do such a thing. I'll wait. But are I you know, certain <laughs> are you certain you have the late Governor Stephen in custody? He's not, He's not in close. custody. We Hold saved on. him. <laughs> Hold on. As soon as they... Myself for yep, I'm drawing both my I don't like that he closed the door. Oh. Oh, you guys are drawing weapons? No, 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 no. If they're closing I'm the door, my hands are on them. Getting into the position, hands Fuck on the yeah, hips. I'm drawing my weapons as I make so, fists. If you Come motion to the guy to close down. the door and you immediately, all, you, you two or you three go to like hands on weapons, all the soldiers level their flintlocks at everybody. No, I totally understand. It's complete Why are you closing, standoff. Why are you closing doors here? Why are you closing us in here, bud? <clears throat> Please the understand. You give me next is going to be very important. Unless if I have to prevent Governor Krieg from walking in, do you have Governor Stephen in your possession? Yes. We have him under our protection. Under our protection, we have him alive. We don't want your current governor to try and off him. 
you know. I whispered to this guy, I said, you're first, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you. you. You see his eyes go wide and like can like kind of like ensure that he has the shoulder to, with a proper stock weld and uh, into his shoulder. As uh, you see the captain look over at like one of the um, clerics, who like stands up and looks a mite nervous and he kind of is like, ah. Uh, Hey guys, remember how we blew up that front gate? Get these hands. The officer comes in the middle of the group and leans over to Matt, to the captain and Slate, who've been talking the most, and says, "Is the governor alive?" We just fucking told you. Yes. <laughs> like forty times. Our answer on that one hasn't changed. Yeah, you dingus. Go ahead and try to flinch, but he's going to pull out his flintlock and shoot at the man in the corner. Wait, which man? Oh fuck. This one or this one? He's on our side. Hello, oh, la, la, la. oh, dude. Wait. The, oh. the un, one of the unarmed clerks who was taking inventory. Oh my gosh. So uh, this guy, a... Hat Man, is shooting at <laughs> the clerk. He's a Hat Man. Yeah. Because yeah. he's yeah. okay. okay. beat up. Off. <laughs> then my swords are drill. definitely coming out. Oh, and he misses poorly. Oh, oh my god. Imagine yeah. sucking so bad. Oh. Or he's gonna get shot. The guy's gonna tumble. The guy's gonna. The one of the uh, the ones that cat that got through is gonna rush forward and fucking bayonet him. This guy. What the fuck? Hey, fuck yeah. And says, uh, "I'm gonna put my hands on this guy that's in the middle of us." Oh, uh, thank goodness for true Durgunians. As soon as you try to touch him, Arn, but he's also while he's butt stroking you to get your hands off him, he's going to look at the captain and, and Slate and says. Run to your ship now. Get your governor. I will set a detachment to meet you at the at the docks. We need to. You need to meet you back in the courtyard now. Krieg is on his way to this location with another uh, company of, of soldiers. I do not your... want Sackett's Harbor breaking out into a civil war. All right, everyone. Ten out of ten. Let's go. Name. Understood. Let's go, baby. <laughs> What's his name? The tricorn captain. Yes. Uh. I'm asking him. What is your name? Arn, why are you hitting this guy? To make it look like we're breaking for it. He oh my told God. us to break for it. Yeah, yeah. he's telling it's... us to. Yeah, and I'm trying to help him with these guys bayoneting our guys, so. No, yeah. there's only one dude that got there's... bayoneted. Yep. This is the mole. <laughs> they killed the mole. Everyone oh. in this room is now a part of our crew. So no need to get, get all flinchy. Oh, okay. The name's Never. Lieutenant Giles. Tell, Giles. tell the men that I'm the one who sent you. Yep. Got yep. it. Right. Let's Let's go go out out to... with the governor. Go out. Go out the back door. Hell yeah. I man. only go in the back door, thank you. Hello! Where is the back door? Oh, wait, yeah, I remember this. Like it's. Know. Isn't it this way? Boop, boop, over here. Oh, uh, that's upstairs. No. Yes, no, we, we're prim wet is good. Yeah, but I'm what? just gonna uh, transition. Yes, thank you. Okay. okay. Where did we leave the governor? In the ship. He's on, in... on the ship. Oh, that's He's right. We got, him. we got him good. We hit him. Yeah. Transition time. <laughs> And he told us to meet back in the courtyard. I think so. He's going to meet us with a detachment. So we're either really dead or we just won. <laughs> or we well, need to. Take they're trying to the reinstate the current, uh, well, the old Stevens, the one we're yeah, saving. The they're try yeah, they're trying to saying, reinstate it. At him. this point, it's such a mess. I don't know who's working with who. Politics! If the, if, if the governor doesn't recognize Lieutenant Giles, it's a trap. Okay. Sure. Well, good thing uh, you got. I'm gonna let you go talk this through and, and come up with a good plan. I'm gonna go hit the head real quick, and I'll be right back. So if we go back to the ship, we shoot the governor. We keep <laughs> the governor alive. Goblin <laughs> move. Oh my god. Um, we, we need to bring a detachment of our own crew with us. Yeah. Tell we the need tell, help? tell the crew of both oh, ships man. to yep. be prepared to sail. What an opportunity to full mask up everybody and walk oh. into town. Oh. Roll in D. So cinematic. Oh, full show. Wow. Right. And then we can say. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so the truth will set you free. With, with the, the a team, right? We leave a couple team leaders, but the full mask that is, guys that, on the That ship. is true. We are rolling with a team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then we we go in, and if we ask the governor if he recognizes this Lieutenant Giles, if he vouches for him. We... Fuck, we take fifty know. for we take fifty men from each ship and walk yep. into town. Yeah, we go fucking ham sandwiches. Fifty men. 
Yeah. I killed Fitted Man. <laughs> I killed Fitted Man. Oh, this is going to be good. <gasps> I feel like with all of that jewelry that we just got in the A Team comment earlier, we can just take Arn and oh, yeah. deck him out like Mr. T. <laughs> yes, please. Deck yeah, him out like Mr. Krabs. I pity the fool. He's got a mohawk oh, on now. He was a wrestler. He was a wrestler. Yeah, you wanna, hang on, Justin, if you want to add the uh, money to the ship fund, I think that'd be fine, because it's not a bunch. No, I just, re do you I just reposted it? it in chat. Just okay. the just the money. I'm going to delete it out of my uh, loot list. And everything else can get sold or whatever. Yeah. Uh, um, I, Slate, I took your necklace out. My um, necklace. No, the ring or the ring. Whatever. The yeah, ring. I took whatever it was that you grabbed. The silver ring with the garnet. Yep, that is what I deleted because I don't see that on this page. Uh, I want to see if that heavy clothes with the shoulder pole. But we should definitely give Arn the the gold necklace, the pearl earrings. Oh yeah. And the silver snake bracelet. Yes. <laughs> Just... yes. Oh, and there's a silver snake ring. I pity the fool. All right, Arn, it is... Dang -a -lang, dang -a -lang. He's pitying. I am going to put this in chat for you, Arn. Oh, boy. And then we cast Grease on him, so he's oh. a greased-up deaf guy. He's a greased-up deaf guy covered Ooh. in flame. Also, we need to convert some of this fucking silver. Oh, my uh -huh. God. The 200,000 pounds of silver we have? I'll say by the time you make it back to the docks, Arn is able to speak again. Hell yeah, brother. All right, oh, Arn. Okay. Arn, you I have to, pity the fool. You gotta put all this on. That's oh, by the way, Rob, you said. missed that. You missed that. Arn is now Mr. T, and we're blinging him out in all of the loot. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We have bedazzled our fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He is fabulous. Fucking fabulous. <laughs> Oh, and then we decided we were going to grease the him up. The sparkling too. gray bullet. <laughs> yeah. Grease on him. Please don't. I don't want to go up in a flame of fire. <laughs> oh, but if someone squeezes you real hard, you'll just pop up. Pop right out. <laughs> Making it back to the ship, adorning Arn and all the jewelry, all the crew members kind of look at him like, holy shit, you, you win another fight, Silver Bullet? I never and now really... he is silver. Oh, to fucking win this port, boys. All we right. need 50 men from each ship ready to fucking go. We got to meet up with uh, Governor Stevens and fill him in on what's going on. Let him know yeah. about Lieutenant Giles. Everyone mask up. Uh, do we need to tell both ships to prepare to sail? Megan. Can we fly Shmagon. the colors? Because the colors are stricken. I be at this point the people we they know hopefully trust know who it is. Wait, do we have like can we tie the, some flags like our colors to spears and bring them with us like banners? Like guidons? Yes. Uh you never made that many, but you would between the two ships you would have four. I mean, but they're awfully large, so you would get you would have to like string them between two and you'd pretty much be oh, Yeah, like, let's use them like band. parade banners. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rolling deep, baby. Uh, you arrive back on deck. Yeah. You can see that uh, Governor Governor uh, Stephen and his and his man are still on board. They're enjoying a nice chat with Winston and one of the senior members. Hey, do you know a Lieutenant Giles? I know a Captain Giles. Oh, oh well, he's shit, been promoted. He got demoted for being Lord. Oh, that's demoted. My bad. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I was gonna say. I, mater I meritoriously promoted Lieutenant Giles to Captain Giles. He's fast-tracked on his way to become a sergeant of the ward. Oh, well, not well, under he's... Craig, he's not. No, he's sliding backwards. Uh, but so... he's loyal to you, and that's Very good for loyal. us. And he's he's willing to kill the wrong, the right people to put the you back in people. place. The wrong people, hell yeah, brother. I mean, we usually that mean... the wrong people. Yes. Does that mean your assault on Adolin's house went successful? Adolin uh, is yeah, dead. Adolin's dead, and now the current governor and a detach an entire detachment of troops is coming to uh, reign in our parade. But we're supposed to meet the good lieutenant, hopefully reinstated as captain, Giles, with you, and uh, we're taking a hundred of our men as well. Feed me. 
I do not want fighting breaking out in my city. I don't care how many men may be loyal to to this Krieg. I allowed diplomacy to win out this day, please. And how would you suggest we do this? Yeah, that's why well, we're bringing a lot of men. Because we need you so to go awful. back to where you're it's supposed to be. Man. And Krieg is not going to let go lightly. Then let's get going. Definitely not, because he's a dickhole. What if we just take a small, smart task force? What if we take oh. one merc slap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one merc slap. She's something. Just fire it down the main street and blow all the windows out. Hey, it, it's portable, right? No. If you can carry 600 not. pounds or so. <laughs> So, yes, it is portable. A cast in large on our... One of the crew members comes by. You can see yes, some I of them have... The majority of them have redone their half masks. Yeah. You see that they are, are fashioning the uh, ear banners on, between two spears and getting ready. They're like, so, we're, we're ready. Wait, do we have a flag for this port? Because basically it looks like we're invading it. Yeah, time. we do. We do look like we're invading. We have Dirk Gunny and Sales, right? Everybody's Scouts coming. come out from above deck where they say, Sir, a company of soldiers entering the, port, the docks coming this way. Yeah, we gotta go. I run up to the bow of the ship and look for Lieutenant Giles. You don't see Lieutenant Giles, but you see another man in a tricord hat who waves to you and says, Are you Captain Mask? Hi. No, but I know him. The name's Lieutenant Gearhoss. Lieutenant Miles sent us. Miles or Guy? Governor, does that ring a bell? That's uh, me. Gearhoss, he's a younger member of the officers. Was he loyal to Giles? Did he I, serve under Giles? I don't recall. No, typically the lieutenants do not serve under one another. Well, if he had well, been you a said he was captain. He was captain, but he was a captain of the Western Ward. Ah, yes, ah, yes. I can't remember. I can't remember where Lieutenant Gerard Haas was. I usually only familiarize myself with most senior members or up-and-coming uh, soldiers. He's a front runner. All right, what do we think? Are we, are we playing this game, guys, or what are we doing? We follow the leader. We're trying to reinstate the governor, and he wants to go about this diplomatically, right? Follow the yellow brick road. If we have to kill Krieg's men, I'm okay with it, but it sounds like Stevens isn't. Fine, we can do it his way, even though his way is not the fun way. Because Hell yeah, brother. Who tries to come up against me, brother? I'll come against you. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. That's All right, so we're letting the governor come up above deck and be sh be seen. Uh, sure. Very briefly, surrounded by people. Y yeah, we're going we're to protect it. Yeah. Get down, Mr. President. Yeah. And I get ready to cast shield. Okay. You see the governor. The governor comes up above deck, sees the approaching uh, company of Deer Gunnian soldiers, and you see Lieutenant Gearhaus immediately snap to in a salute and says, Governor Stephen, it's great to see you in good health, sir. Hi. Yay! Stephen goes. Hydrate. Cuts the salute Thank back you. and goes. Aye! It's time to take back this port. He looks to you, to Captain Mask, and says, "Take me to where Krieg is." Fuck that guy! Fuck that guy! All right, let's go. I will display to you my Kriegisms. <laughs> He's Krieging. He's oh, Krieg. it's everywhere. Oh. God, it's all over the port. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's in the floating in the water. <laughs> oh god, the fishery. It's on the poop deck. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, my feet. He creaked on your poop deck? All right. Now, hang on. I can only get so scare roused. Back to the wealthy <laughs> district. As you uh, as you all come with your men, your, your five-star <laughs> banners, uh, parade-style marching behind you, uh, your your hundred compliment your hundred men compliment uh, mixed in with Deer Gunnian Company um, come down this uh, street. You see other Deer Gunnian soldiers like stationed every few feet to it, and then at it. 
and they immediately see the onslaught and they they get confused as they're like they're they go from uh you know left shoulder arms to port arms to at the ready but then they see like officers and whatnot like and like some of their uh fellow soldiers like run up to them and whisper to them and you see someone like look at them like in shock watch you all walk by see the governor and they're like you round the one street the street and you see the blown out gate with the smoldering crater that was the v-bid to adolin's courtyard and as you all come marching through you hear like this big voice that says, Men, we're being sought at by rebels to arms, to arms. As you see like this big poultry man, fine robes, door necklaces, balding head, a uh, couple great. rings on each finger, walk out of the doorway as a couple guardsmen like run out mm. trying to make rank and file. You see, um, you see Lieutenant, um, Giles come behind him and like pull out the sword and like man make ready and then like he sees you all and like you know kind of gives you like the like just the, the wink. slightest of slightest of nod like almost imperceptibly you only can tell because of the tricord hat against the back of the building like you see the nod and is you know sabers up uh you know all your men get ready and they're like fuck yeah you know it's like there's a huge roaring going on and uh lieutenant you know governor steven uh, steven finally speaks up and goes big stand down the rightful governor of this island has returned you see like the governor be offended like oh catches his breath like Fuck, piece of this shit. is an imposter no <laughs> the fuck it's governor not. steven was killed what is this rebellion giles come on now this ruffians of you you, if you are loyal to the dear Guardian High Lords, you will kill these interlopers and rebellion. No, nope, we're not. You see Giles drop his, uh, re- not drop his uh, sword, but you see him like reposition it and says, uh, Tune! What are they? Assume target! As the immediate line in front of the governor turns around and centers his guns on uh, this ball, this governor Krieg. <laughs> Yeah. And you hear Giles go, In the name of Governor Stephen Krieg, you are under arrest. Yeah. You're under arrest for treason <laughs> against the Deer Guardian. You're under arrest to be charged with colluding. And... Oh. oh. And then he died. Did he die? <laughs> yep. And what happened was. He nuked the campaign. Well, so instead, we're going to take a champion from both sides and beat each other up. Mm. No. no. Oh. We're going to beat each other off, not up. Polluting with enemies of the port of Sackett's Harbor. You will be placed under arrest and trial. And you see him kind of like nervously like, oh, fuck. He runs back towards <laughs> Adolin's match and gets into the front door before he's like pushed back by two other soldiers who remain behind. They capture him. This fucking guy. <laughs> I'm stoked. Wild returns oh the sword to his sheath and comes back, comes into the group of you all. Smart, snaps a salute to the governor, Stephen. Uh, Stephen says, "Sir, it's my glad to see you that you're back." Thought this group was a little eccentric, but once they identify themselves oh. as Captain Mask, as I, as I figured they might have been, you know, all the stu- all the good that they did for Governor Rowlett. I hope they were doing just as well as good for us. And you see, uh. You see Steven, like, claps him on the shoulder and says, Do not call yourself a lieutenant anymore. You're back to captain again at this instance. Whatever this man did, we have to undo. Quick, send news to the mansion. Make sure that we secure the, any further damage that this man has caused. He looks back to uh, to you all, to you six. He says, You have my congratulations. The Republic of Deergun owes you such a great gra- gratitude today. I agree. Whatever, whatever talent Governor Rowlett identified in all of you is well met. Please well met. stay in this port. Allow me to take back control today. I will <laughs> throw a grand dinner for you all in two days' time. I do believe promotions are, are in order for the both of you. Oh, I'm so happy. I encourage the crew to cheer. Interesting. We almost killed that guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, we fucking you know. See, imagine, the truth will set you free. <laughs> imagine the or my sword. journey that this man went on, and all of the fuckery we put him through, and the low that we brought him to, 
just to bring him this high. And had we complied initially, we never would have been able to make that journey. That's true. Uh-huh. Journey these both. The scent is revolutionary. I'm just I'm really, really, I'm so I'm relieved that I'm, we're still good with Durgan, because that's my home. I'm so happy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's I'm so happy. My name. In the name of Raliu, that has his triumph today. Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! Yay! Hip, hip, hooray! We're saying yay. <laughs> we huh? That fired my pistol into the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I shoot whoever that was. <laughs> Poor beggar child clerks. dies. <laughs> no. I'm trying to drink. What the Another fuck? Time, so. We we should have a festi festivity uh, bout tonight in honor of <sighs> this victory. Just I'm gonna drink. You're an angsty, yeah, I'm gonna just relax. dazzled little man doesn't mean that you have to <laughs> fight. <laughs> I'm gonna I drink so much lime the juice. Fools that don't like to fight. Uh, excuse me, rightful governor. Can we can we get this man an exhibition match? He wants I'm to gonna cook something. real people food. I thought you were gonna stop it. You're gonna cook real people, and I was yeah. all for it. <laughs> no, <laughs> going places. Hell yeah, brother. It's just like that. The tables have turned to people. People tables. Everybody just shows up to dinner and the table's empty and Arn's like mm -hmm. and Birch comes out and he's like, Oh yes, dinner is served. It's my balls. Yuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm still hungry. What else you got? <laughs> There's no PP left for this move. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god. For the remainder of the day, oh. every townsfolks recognize you upon sight and like either run will run up and shake your hands or like shout out to you or say thank you and say oh, oh, I'm the you. heroes of Deer Gun. All right, so let's yeah. not get yeah. too big of heads about this though. The demon slayers, so no. Don't the touch me, breakers. you filthy peasants. Yeah. Yeah, rubes. The slave freers. No, oh, I'm loving this. I say I waved to everybody who says hi. Slave freers? I mean, I'm in. What? You sold me on freeing the slaves. I mean, slaying demons, freeing slaves, breaking chains, over doing good shit. Governments that we helped install in the first place, you know. Breaking no, not that, not that part. Not that oh, last not part. Oh, not that part. Yeah. No, that definitely. <laughs> Hypocrites. Oh. Paul. Mm. I ain't got no crits. Got, them does. got big critties. Well, what am I a hypocrite of? Very nice. Oh, what a crew of this quest. Hi, part. honey badger. Oh. I hope you're having a good day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> words coming out of your mouth. He said it. I hate that. That's the one. Woo, 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 Kenny, no. woo. <laughs> no. He just I... sounded like a puppy. No. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Oh, D&D uh, oh, uh, goes, well, it's uh, good. Uh, we just saved the town. Yay. <laughs> I've sharded my... The, the thing is, is you got to go back to that port to... So, and it's I not can't. cheating when you're... Millions of miles away. Oh yeah, different area. Wow. Though. Yeah. For what that one the is. fuck? Fuck. Oh, you a bedazzled point. little man whore. Yeah. And I pity a fool who tells me something different. I think that'd be all of us. That's all of us. Yeah. Yeah. True. Hey. Pity me. Go on. Do it. Do it. I haven't hit on anybody in port yet. But I flick Arn in the back of the head and cast guidance on him. Flick him right in the back of the balls. <laughs> God, no, I'm oh. not doing that. Why not? She'd have to bend. That would have to touch his balls. balls. Uh, and that's weird. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I agree. That's weird. That is weird. Ah, uh, yes. At some point in the next eight hours, a another city guardsman officer and a priest of uh, Baz uh, approaches the ship and looks to talk to you all about what you found in Adolin's mansion, as well as they've you know they they 
say that hey we have the transcript from uh captain giles uh you mentioned something about a death cult we're just looking for additional information i tell them everything Oh See, what you want to know? Hey, you just love giving up all the information. <clears throat> don't... I will abs. I will. I tell the truth, and I am obsessed with this cult. So hey, yes, that's fine telling the truth, but you don't have to tell them everything. I tell them everything. You give them <laughs> yes. what they <laughs> ask for. Nothing Lie by omission, for Brim. No. <laughs> I, would, I, I will would not hate to be in prison with you. Because you, you would. Just... You would hate it. Counterpoint. Come on. <laughs> He's got me. Hey, come on. I say, I hope you have multiple quills ready for this story. He, oh my uh, God. <laughs> in your explanation and showing everything, he also asks for clarification. Are you also the responsible party for why the Empire has put a uh, complete embargo on the soul beers? Oh. Probably, because yeah, like... we did tell people us. about the list. Yes, yep. that is. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep, bad guys. Sir, I will let you know, I have never been called responsible a They're day in my on life. on the list, and they Neither took a bunch I. of people to sell them to the slavers that are, are working under Blue. So yes, oh, we did. I, I would list. say she is the I also survivor. have another list, yeah. and I bring it out. I said, oh this is God. how many kids have been sold, and here are where oh they're at, God. and there's God. nothing that says anything about a... Oh, God, the Meregians, but we think that's because it's on the mainland that they want them because they train them early. Pepe oh, yeah. Sylvia. You know, all this information paper. is she fucking pulled out. You say everything. <laughs> they record the names for both Sackett's Harbor, New Herkimer, New Frankfurt, and uh, Casterwellen and Dondera. Thank you. Oh, did we get Dondera already? I feel like we... Well, we were at Donadea, no, but we'll not for long. Thing. We didn't need any more information. It's going to cost you. No, this is the first port that we've been to because we were doing the Netherian <laughs> Empire ports. We were liberating those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to have to pay for this information. No, you won't. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> Arn says that, and then they all just turn to Prim and they're like, mm. You got more paper? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you guys heard of a camera? Take a picture. Going off of all the descriptions and whatnot, and then including what they say they found in, like, mm -hmm. you know, Adolin's coat of arms and what it says, mm -hmm. they, uh, they mm -hmm. ask how, who other, what, besides this roster attendance list that you have, like, what other noblemen do you know that are part of this death call? And is, like, the Black Skull usually always a, uh, missed <clears throat> a, um, red flag? Oh, for sure. We haven't, uh, we've it. found it everywhere. That, everywhere. We've, yeah. It's, yeah, it's been small cult gatherings it's been the big ones it's been that time with the rhinoceros i can't believe adolin had the balls to put it in his own coat of arms on his doorstep like yeah. on his gate he was basically telling the whole world that he's part of the death cult he some was hiding in plain sight because remember warlock when we this, fucker <laughs> when we tried to kill one, us nobody believed in the death cults anyway hey, well it's, only it's some people had heard of it in plain sight Right, because remember when the Viceroy's daughter went missing and we said it was the death cults and they were like, no, she ran away. Yeah, and, was, and they were wrong. <laughs> they were fucking wrong. <laughs> and you still yeah. have to worry about Garrett Smith because he's still out there getting the more obsidian for these Trolloc things. Not excited about dealing with that. And then we met Elena with a whole army. We couldn't catch up to her, but we had to save uh, people from nightmares because that was uh, oh, that what was got bad. us on that island. It was a mess. <laughs> Guys, remember when we were just hunting down master thieves? Remember when we were just a trade ship? Remember, remember when that? life was simple? Yeah. Remember when we used to just go and take other people's trade? Remember when no. Prim was shy? You've never done that. Yeah, no, yeah, we've never taken anyone's <laughs> trade. We have farms. Just... Arn just <laughs> has his own deep lore. Arn's, <laughs> He's like to us Arn's been hitting the head a little too many times. Remember that yeah, time we overthrew that cargo and made it our own? No, Arn. <laughs> we don't. That time we threw all that tea in that port? <laughs> Very Ever funny. since he died, he's been crossing timelines. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when he goes to sleep, he dreams in an alternate parallel reality. That all makes sense now. He's actually just awake at all times. Guys, I've been to this place. We need to go back. What? It's called America. 
Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard of a Dodge Charger? What the fuck's America? Yeah, so this is the list that we know of. And yes, we are the reason for the Solveers being in trouble. Good. <sighs> the, the Priest of Boss uh, says, well, this is good. We will take this name down now. Hence, from this forth, uh, we were right to the other go island governors, including the High Lords back in Katorsa. Uh, this <clears> list of individuals will now be wanted for questioning by the, uh, the, the Republic. Thank you. Knowledge is power. <laughs> so this is good. Spread the word. We're going to figure out who these names are and uh, try to do an investigation to find these enslaved kids and then free them and return them home to their, their families. Uh, the you. other thing I can tell you is we have done extensive research of the basement of Adolin. It does check out uh, the, you know, they were using obsidian production for somehow. We followed what looked like a sophisticated conveyor belt to a district, uh, <clears throat> to a warehouse in the warehouse district that had <clears throat> uh, crates and crates of these weapons being loaded. The harbor master has reviewed his records. We have identified the ships that were coming in, picking that were dealing exclusively with Adolin, um, as you are aware that he was able to trade freely uh, with the war going on. With because the, of uh, Krieg, yeah. Res. Yeah. Yep. So I have a question about the crates and crates of uh, these obsidian spears. Can I, can I have a crate? <laughs> no, we're confiscating them and breaking them because we uh, can ascertain that they are demon infused. We also recommend that if you have any, that you break them. They are cursed. Oh, oh yeah. I, just... I, I, my intent is to fire it out of this device I've created into the bad guys. Oh, uh, just a heads up, when you're in Adolin's basement, there was a ruby that was, like, real foggy. If you touch you it, it, you're gonna get punched by a demon. So oh, yeah. be careful, because I That's... got punched, and it hurt. So just, yep. just a heads up. Yes, we we uh, are one of our punched? acolytes. Yeah. One of our acolytes recorded that when they touched it, they were transported to some infernal realm, <laughs> watching a battle being done, and a fire ganassi pushed them back. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Saying great. something along the lines of "return back to your stolen plane." Yeah, oh, they're yeah. not happy. Yeah, they're, yeah, no. I, I'm back. sorry, I didn't warn you early enough. But you know what would be really good for fighting their potential demon invasion is some of those spears I can launch out of my cannon. I don't think that that's gonna it stop. It would not them. work against their own kind. Yeah, it's it's power from them. I I think it's the insult that matters because the velocity that this thing comes out doesn't really care. If we can find a way to like shoot radiant damage, that seemed to work real good on the demon. <laughs> Somebody physics don't... doesn't look at realm damage. <laughs> Sir Artisifer, the fact that yes. you are considering to fight a naval battle against invading demons, how likely would you say that's a probable uh, event? I didn't say it was naval. I said we could fire from our ship. It could be on the coast. You don't know. We took out an entire top of a mountain. Well, there was also that, like, eyeball thing that we dealt with so like we've been dealing with things from other planes and they don't seem too happy oh yeah that was at the hive mind what yeah yeah the hive mind oh, our buddy yag yagi yeah yagi yep the whatever it was i don't know wearing a yagging man. suit <laughs> great <laughs> yeah he you got brought here immediately confused like another i'm sorry there's uh, yeah. been some plane Transferring. Going on. Yeah, we there's a group of friends who are stranded here that can't get back to their own home plane. Yeah, what was they that island that had the teleporter? Where was that? Which island? Was, which port was that? No, that was the same one where we freed the. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying what what port was that? The Dungunnery port. I gotta get the Tyrion, map. Was it? No, that was not. Oh, with the bugs? Oh yeah, that one. And the child slave. Bugs? I mean, there are tried slaves everywhere. That's the problem. No, they were the ones. Was it Leafy? I think it was Leafy, right? Foil. If you go foil. There, gonna foil. <clears throat> it was foil. <laughs> we'll foil the demon's plans. If you go there, it costs you money. Wrap my balls in foil. Lots of gold. And put them in the microwave. What the fuck, VC? <laughs> what? I like it. Don't king shame me. Like we're learning a lot about it. Really derail it. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> 
The Church of Boz has learned a lot about this death cult, and we will be taking it seriously. Is there any resources that you would all require? Are you going to continue hunting down these these parties? Until they're all fucking dead and all children are returned to their parents, yeah. Well, Bertram did decipher a thing about, about manliness. Enslaved children. That'll be a Sackett's Harbor. Um, what did that uh, thing say? Shit, what's the fucking military call? The colonial militia will take care of that investigation of the enslaving. The death cult is going to be have to be handled by church matters. Oh well, I mean, let's fucking do it. I'll take you to church, bitch. What do you yeah. fucking mean? I mean to ask, like, what is y'all's next step, and how can we help? Oh, you gotta give oh. us, like, 72 hours. Trim is probably gonna rant out. about the list, and we're gonna do okay, something so, about it. <laughs> yeah. So, Bertram deciphered fight. a thing that says that they wanted to kill our crew and bring Mask uh, to uh, Lieutenant Baraka, uh, but... Barack Obama? Like... Stop at Manlius first. Talk to Lieutenant Baraka at the Orange Turtle, but I don't know where is, any of that is. Is Manlius a port or a stripper bar? Uh, I'm Manlius gonna assume it's a port. port. It's a port on Castillo Island. It shares. It's on the opposite side of the nice. island from uh, Clagrina. I would say the last reports from Manlius, it was under siege by the combined Merezian and Cran army. Yeah, so that'll... I would say we set up a um a trap. So let's go do that. Well, but first we're being celebrated like tomorrow. So I yeah. wanna, I wanna do that because right. we kind of earned that, and also sleep because I want my spells back. For a championship belt tomorrow. Can, what yeah. are you? Oh, mother of God! Can, Where is this coming from? Yeah. Get this man. He hasn't battle. fought in a right. while, so we he's just did. We... he's got to get his wiggles out. Well, then have him just, like, go to a back alley and pick a bar fight. I don't know. Or is there a brothel oh, nearby yeah, he yeah. can use? Type yeah, Jesus Christ. Fucking killing somebody. Yeah, but those take some time to set up, don't they? Brothels? No. No. It's not for the <laughs> governor. Those real, are probably already real set real up. Fights. New governor says, I'm coming back, bitches. We're going to have an exhibition fight. I guarantee you a lot of people are going to sign up. That's true. Oh, fuck yeah. Who That's how it worked in Ban, right? I don't yeah. want any violence in my port. I'd like a diplomatic takeover. Welcome to the big fight! <laughs> Welcome to the act, guy! I mean, I'm down. I just didn't know if it would take a while to set up or what. It'll oh. be fine. It'll be fine. I'm just saying, we earned the party, and I've missed Durgan. Can we enjoy it, please? <laughs> oh, for sure. And I've also missed sure. Arn roll around with other half-naked men. He d he's Grayson doing what he loves. Lieutenant, <laughs> thank you for your time and the sharing information. They say if you ever need our help, please come back. Uh, the priest also let lets you know that he's going to write to the other churches of Boss, the other ports of Deergun about this. So if you ever need any assistance from any church of life and death from uh, Deer the Republic of Deergun, just visit. Tell them who you are. They should know about you in you know two two weeks to a month's time. So, um, oh, maybe uh, question, Cleric Thomas yeah. will hear about us again. Yeah, oh, oh good. Anywhere else in yeah. the world. Love him. <laughs> no, you have a, a cleric He's or awful. paladin who can accompany us for. And one that can speak in a normal pace cadence. Of volume. What do you have against fur bulks? Come on. <laughs> I, it's not a fur. A, it's not. It's not because he of who he is. It's because about of that. He's how speech. he speaks. Yep. The few paladins we have in the Church of Bass are actually all out on missions. Okay, cleric, healies. We're good at the violence, we just need the heals. <clears throat> the violence! Uh, our clerics um, are usually here to read last rites in the ceremonies for uh, funerals. They can read last and, rites on And the also field. doing the um, blessings of newborns, since we are the church of both death and light. That's so nice. Uh, Send them out on seminary with us. They can do last rites on the battlefield, and we'll visit oh, a couple yeah. churches or hospitals. No, no. Or no. or bring me back to life. Oh yeah, this guy died before. That's not his original if, body. If you wish to travel to Hartwick, they have the seminary school for our churches. There, you would find maybe perhaps an acolyte or a priest that would be uh, in in his set of stages where he would need to go on such a trip. <laughs> Fresh we can meat. help them. We need somebody to go on a on a on their uh, mission. Imagine doing your seminary with the crew of the masked maiden. Yikes! You would be re you of course would be responsible for his life. Like oh, becoming a chaplain in two thousand one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Fucking, hey, thanks for the commission. Uh, hello, Afghanistan. <laughs> you're ordained. Also, you're going straight to Iraq. So it's mm -hmm. March of 03. Come on, God boy, let's roll. <laughs> God boy. The very day, you are all invited to be in nice binary to come to the governor's mansion. And we do this. Um, so. the, the morning after, the, obviously, the morning of. Uh, with your crew returned back to wearing their half masks, your flags now adorned on your flags, uh, your crew are insanely happy because they just talk about everywhere where they get to be drinking for free. Wow. Oh, fuck yeah. These fucking stallywags. Also, bags. news runs through the town that the uh, the spot, the hot springs here, no longer seem to be incurring, like, breakouts of fights and, like, angry partridges anymore. Oh, yeah. That oh, thank murder, goodness. The murder onsen. Oh, oh I, why did I think it was haunted? Also, can we get our silver exchange here for platinum? <laughs> oh, please. It might oh, be the place God. they want to do it, it with uh, all this business happening. Heading, so yeah, heading to the uh, how much More silver? Business doing business how much things. silver are you looking to translate oh, into, like co into two, platinum? Three, four, <laughs> five hundred thousand. What? I need what? To know. I need to know. No. I have fifty-seven thousand silver. I is that the fifty-seven thousand fifty something I put into the ship? Which ship? And when did you put 57,000 in? I, he put it in the Traveler's Shadow, which I'm not tracking because I'm not going to do that. Oh, I'm not mm. tracking that either. So because... put 57,000 silver in the yeah. ship. In the ship fund. We're, he tracks for both ships. Okay, because I had like 57 and Arn had like 57. I I have... 5,700 uh, or 57,000? Yes. I, have, I will I... find this in that I have uh, 305 uh, silver pieces. Nope. Okay. So I got to check this. I will find it in the chat logs. It was oh, a boy. fucking idiotic amount. Rob, we're millionaires now. I just need you to accept that on good faith. Thank you. Yeah, I've already accepted it. I just need, um... another, <laughs> 10, I just need another 10,000 gold. Okay. That's all I need. Rob, I'm tracking uh, 57,000 ship or silver on our the... ship. The Bank of Sackets Harbor says that unfortunately they don't have 570 platinum pieces, but they do have 460. Which is 46,000 silver? Correct. Deal. <laughs> they make the exchange. Trade you. So 460. Ah. Uh, Rob, how much is a, a nice Durgunian dress so that I don't look like a bum? You have nice clothes on. I have a Therian dress. I would like a Durgunian oh, dress. I don't like the way you said that. It's two different styles. I am from Durgun. I would like One the style that I'm cooler. here. A lady nope. of the night needs her dress. <laughs> you remember what happened to the last fucker that called me a whore, motherfucker? We what? got into a house. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you walk in, uh, they immediately recognize you, so they knock off um, the cost. So it'll run you twelve gold for fine, uh, fine deer gunny and clothes. Oh, thank you. The deer gunny and styles for uh, a dress. Um, they're not as conservative as the Metharian style. Um, they definitely have the laces on the edge. The shoulders aren't as poofy if you go for something that's not long sleeve. If you go for a uh, half sleeve, quarter sleeve, it's like a little bit of poof at the shoulder. The neckline is not going to be plunging, but it's like um, a square cut in the top. But it's like, yeah, it's not like hanging off your shoulders. It's it's actually like in a nice, mm, uh, uh, decent looking place on the sh on the on your shoulders. But like, you know, it's open uh but it does come with its couple of layers and usually they stick to either the cl the colors of the flag the white gold red um they do like to sell a lot of their their um a lot of the cloth materials will sell in different shades of red maroon mahogany um there is sometimes a touch of salmon and whatnot um but you can tell, and they'll even tell you that the fashion is going away from gold trim, as a lot of the nobles and or more well-to-do folks are going are opting to go from gold to silver trim. It does look a mite better 
Uh, slippers and, and shoes actually have like uh, kidney pulps to them. They're not like the flat slippers like Netherian would have. So they actually try okay. to add weight to it and wear a long enough dress that kind of hides it. Um, corset, totally optional. We're in the corset. All right. Gotta be fancy for those. Does that change the price at all? For the customers? No, no. I'll, no I'll also buy that, it that one the... out for one outfit for you, it's 12 oh. gold. Well, that is so sweet of them. I will uh, tip them two gold and say thank you so much for helping. Oh, thank you so much, Primrose, hero <laughs> of the deer gun. Uh, Commodore Mask, did you get the the platinum figured out? Yes. Also, I'm going to go with her to the thing. Okay. Uh, to the... Ah, get a new fancy hat. Yeah. I'm going to get another hat and another coat. A new hat. Kitty needs a hat. Needs a hat. A new vest and a new pair of boots would be nice. Tricorn or bicorn? Uh... Tricorn. Yeah, fuck bicorn. Tricorn, tricorn hat. Water, 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 water. <laughs> For silver. They, uh, they, the, they know who you are, and they definitely know about the promotion. They say, do you want us to wait to see what rank he gives you to do, uh, filigree? No. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> uh, so, Jack, wise, right. do you want something that's double-breasted, single-breasted, or are you going to wear it open? I'm a man. I pull out the, the collar of the one I'm wearing, exactly like this, just, like, Brown. Change the colors up. They give you a uh, same kind of style cut, a uh, little bit, you know, thicker wool. Uh, red, it's definitely a, a blood red to match the um, cross on the flag. It is adorned with gold anodized buttons. Uh, it's got the gold trim everywhere in the little like swoops and whatnot. Perfect. It'll match the blood that I get on it. Uh, they do line it with a nice white silk that has gold parsley design in it. On it. Hmm. I am in. This is my new dressy murder coat. Wow. Very nice, Commodore. <laughs> Arn, boots. They have uh, Yeti leather. They have uh, mountainous chitin leather. They have uh, Praetan leather. What looks the most exotic and cool looking? Are you looking for boots? Yeah, he's looking at boots. Can he Fuck even yeah, wear yeah. boots over the greaves? Sure, why not? Okay. The greaves are, like, adhered to his legs. Just go down over his ankles. And I need a new pair, and I need a new vest. With what kind of vest? With, uh, we're talking paisley vests, if they got them. Or any you can't get something that is as flashy as the lining of the captain's new coat, but they do sell a red vest with uh, a muted yellow uh um, he would yard paisley. that makes up the part paisley design. I prefer burgundy, not red. Uh yeah, they they can put it, they can make it a burgundy, and it will go even better with the muted yellow. Okay, yes, and your most exotic boots you got because they're made for walking and stomping on skulls. Don't you still have the? The things yeah, attached to your legs, yeah, though? Yeah, they strapped to your legs. just asked yeah. that, and Rob said he can wear yeah, yeah. over it. Uh, he, yeah, he, his feet would be exposed, but, like, yeah, from his, like, ankle up to his like, waist. Like leg warmers? They're like shin yeah. guards. Spinnies, we call them. So, yeah, they, they, uh, it's the Yeti leather boots. Okay. We will go with the Yeti leather. 
Ah, I always think that they have yeah, like see? feet stuff on them. Uh, nope, no feet stuff. I need to get some awesome like uh skull embroidered boots to go with those for my my ring outfit. That would be amazing. Anybody else going shopping, changing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I might as well yeah, fit in. Just, yeah. yeah. What, what you looking for, Bridgestorm? Just like normal clothes, whatever would be appropriate. You going for like a formal dinner attire? Or yeah, yeah, like yeah. Just something. Walking around gay clothes. No, for, no. For like for, for the dinner, for the little festivities. All right, yeah, they fashion you. They fashion you a nice, uh, very dark, burgundy to black long coat with tails, matching trousers, uh, white shirt. Uh, they give you a cummerbund. They ask if you want it like a, a brighter red or with a filigree of gold. Red, a gold. It's your choice to oh. go on it. Um, they give you the choice of a matching ascot or bow tie. Oh, I do not want an ascot. Thank you. Oh. I- Appreciate it. I'm not really an ascot man. I'm more of a boobcot man. <laughs> uh, well, I will have a boot tie. Oh, Atlanta. How much is that? Uh, you you get the same discount. So all the fine clothes, oh, a single set would be uh, twelve gold. All right, good enough. Alex. That just. I don't know. Fancy clothes. Gotcha. All right, so I found it. Sorry, it was oh, okay. 50, one iteration of 56,000 silver pieces. Okay. And the other was 78,000. Oh, wow. What do you want to do with it? No, that's that was what was put into the ship. So I know we could only trade 460, no, 46,000 for the platinum. Yeah, so here you got it. Yeah, so I want to make sure that Somebody mask is tracking. No, <laughs> I track nobody. Uh, it would have been a total of 134,000 silver. Where the fuck do you even get that? Trade uh, routes? When we were, when, no, when we were fighting the <laughs> Naga in the forest. We found two separate chests that were like out of the way that oh. I these tooled into, and that's what we got. So if you traded for 460 silver, that remains we have a remainder of 88,000 silver total. He, on no, total. no, no. He did it from his own funds. I did it from the own funds. For your own funds. Okay, well, this is what I put into the, the ship. Holy moly. Yep, and I've just transferred it. I forgot to about those. This ship, because I keep track of both ships. <clears throat> there you go. So now we have one hundred and thirty-five thousand silver, almost ten thousand gold, and almost five hundred. That's not gold. bad. And that's yep. not even counting what we get from our trade. Oh yeah, it's not Holy. even talking about the lock boxes. And yeah, we're doing okay. The only campaign I've never had to be like, oh, I wonder if we have the money for it. I think this is the first campaign where we've made sound fiscal <clears throat> decisions, too. So that, too, with investments and all those other things. I just want a nice traditional attire for the night. I mean, like, this is my home. Deergan's my home, so. Yay. I miss Uncle Ben. How much do I? How much, no, so do I. How much it's would this a cost? It's our home. The fuck are you're these gonna get, You're going to get the same kind of style that uh, Bridgestorm's getting cut. Unless you want anything uh, done custom. Ah, oh, twinsies. Are you talking for me? No. No, no, no. no. Oh. You're, you're good, Azagrim. I'm talking... Uh, Azagrim. You're good, uh, late. Uh, I'm talking to Alex. No. Oh. Other than a little bit... If there's a little bit more red in it to go with my family colors. And do, will do. Thank you, sir. All right. So everybody's all fancied up. You head to the governor's mansion... Um, there is a carriage line, but then, uh, some of the riders see you and they immediately like make room to let you guys all get ahead of you. Um, even as like a, uh, pair, couple pair about to like enter the door to the front of the butler and they, they look back and they see you and go, Oh, they give you all curtly nods and bows and they, they let you go ahead of them. Um, the 
guy at the beginning of the greeting, he's not the butler, but he, he notices you all who's got the platter and he's taking people's cards, but like without a card, <clears throat> he just walks in with you all and it says, announcing Captain Mast and crew as the entire inside of the mansion, the whole foyer, like stop what they're doing and it goes quiet and everybody just starts giving you an applause. <clears throat> Yeah, right. <laughs> we're all socially awkward. I bow. Yay, we're helping. <laughs> In rare form, you see Alex act, like... act as if he is from the house of Burton. I fire pistols in there. I, oh, like I follow his lead and do a little I curtsy. I definitely act like a champion. I'll like do the queen, the queen in. wave. <laughs> <laughs> Princess wave. The entire night, I just conduct myself as if my father was there and I was representing House Burton, and I'm very fucking quiet. Uh, so while there, um, the governor comes down the steps and whatnot, and he greets you all. He's like, <laughs> Heroes of Sakataba, welcome! Welcome. He's you see him. He's like all or he's back out and his like he's not rough clothes. He's not like roughed up. His hair is actually like shampooed. He smells nice and whatnot. Yay! Oh, um, so obviously hot. his man is shadowing him. <clears throat> Glad he looks well. Please, please, uh, come come to the come to the backyard. We will do the promotion ceremony ahead of the dinner, and then we should have dinner. And after that, the ball. Ooh. and just have a grand night. What do you say? Sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are those you into the, spinach uh, puffs? What? Spinach puffs. Spinach puffs, yes. I'm oh. going to go eat. Goodbye. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Bridge, Bridge Storm loses himself to the kitchen and the uh, dining hall. Uh, Justin, confirm with me the last rank you got in Deer Gun. Was it Captain or Major? Let me confer to my dear gun. Uh, yeah, Captain. <clears throat> uh, okay. So yeah. Uh, so while in the back, you know, he calls attention to orders. Uh, Captain Giles is there. You see, he's got the right Captain rank on now. Uh, and uh, you, 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 he, you know, he reads out the promotion commission. Uh, he says, from this point, day forward, within the Deer Gun Privateer Navy, you are now here by appointed <clears throat> Major. Yay! Uh, this is going to gain you uh, cheaper repairs within Deer Gun ports. And then Slate, yeah, you get those, but if you have those, you're captain now. I got sweet dig all. Way to go. Yay! I clap when appropriate. Yes, I detach <laughs> from the rest of the crew and I mingle with the ladies and I act like a perfect gentleman. I'm sorry, what uh, am I getting, so, Rob? Did you, uh, did you ever get letters of mark from Deer Gun? Mm -mm. Alright, so then you would be issued. He's a captain now. Here, in Deer Gun. My lads, I have to run. I have to go drop Tuli off, so I will probably not be back. Welp. Nice. Good. Thank you for showing, for showing up. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to whisper your XP. Hell oh, yeah, brother. Over. Doesn't matter whatever it is. I'm hitting level... Uh, 900,000. 15 experience points. Level the next I'll kill one. Me. <laughs> he only needed 16. <laughs> so give him one. Uh, so, Bridgestorm, as you go find some food, you find some zucchini fritters. Oh, baby, that sounds good. I'd try it. Not a big zucchini Okay, thing, zucchini. But... Zucchini fritters, and they have, like, a pint... Uh, I'm sorry, a peas with mint and garlic butter. Oh, sweet zucchini. They've got a, a kind of a flat bread with like curled up edges at the back, but it's like shrimp zucchini mint pizza with a white. OK, pizza. mint pizza. I'm here. Does this place have any lime juice for sleep? 
Uh, yeah. No, but there is something for a palate cleansing that is lime and mint melon. It'll have to do. And there are they plenty got of hard watermelon mojitos. Oh, watermelon. Hard <laughs> liquor, please. Uh, they do have a good deer gunning and ale. It's full body. Sure. I will take a lot of it. But you're so little. Oh. I'll still drink you under the table. If I don't drink. Yeah, not after last time. Harn's like, I'll still drink under your table. I can stand under there. <laughs> I'll drink any of y'all under the table. A lot of the uh, party goers make comments to you all, like you know they they congratulate you all, they thank you for bringing back Governor Stephen. <clears throat> they say, coupled with this and all the benefit you did for Governor Rowlett and you know taking Dundara for the Republic, they're everybody's really happy to know that you're on their side. They look forward to this war being ended. They hope that you maybe there's something you can do to help. No more stuff. The governor also indicates to all the men that, you know, he, as much as he's not married, doesn't have a daughter, he does have a niece who is single. And if you all are here in two weeks' time, he's holding a ball for her. And he would, you know, be really interested if he does, if you all show up, you know. Uh, as for Lady Prim, he does indicate that he doesn't have any nephews, but he does have second cousins who are uh, perhaps single, if if interested, of course. It's very flattering, but I have someone in mind already. But thank you. I'm sure your family is lovely. <laughs> I don't know if the, the guys are interested. I'm already seeing somebody. Mm. I'm pretty yeah. sure uh, Gray Bullet's not taken on this port, so it should be oh. something. Oh. None of that, Trey. I could defer my interest. I'll always show up to a party. <laughs> That's not what she's... Whatever. I just love how out of touch he is with every situation. No. Yep. I just let Ooh. the governor know, know that I'm he's interested available. without yeah, yeah, making it. Yeah. yeah I nudge him. Commitment. I'm like, yeah, he's he's a great bachelor for this. But I introduced but... myself to the governor as Alex of House Burton. I don't think I ever gave him my real name. Hey guys, I'm not playing. I got a diddler. Who just called me a diddler? Me. I don't what know. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Diddle me? <laughs> Sir Burton has made quite the name for himself on these, uh, not just the Durgunian Islands, but all across the, uh, the sea. All right. I got to go, guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. Later, bye -bye. Bye. Later. Bye. Love you. Uh, love you. Bye. Love you. Everybody just showers in the Love room. you, too. <laughs> Um, as the dinner winds down, the ball and the dancing starts happening, um, a few of the cabinet tree members or the governor, or if you guys talk to Captain Giles, they, you all kind of get informed of how the war is going. You north central region of the Ulain, pretty much between Tone Island, Castillo Island, the Pearl Chains up there kind of ways. Like it's just, it's been brutal. Like the clashes are happening. Manulus has become under a constant siege and, uh, been fought back. Uh, the resources in Ilian have been have been strained as Ilian, New, New Duanesburg, and Manulus try to cobble together uh, attacks, uh, defense to rebuff the attacks. Um, it's not looking well, and he they say the letters from the governors from New um, on here on Avocado Island, so New Frankfurt, New Herkimer, here in Dondera, they they're nervous about sending a fleet to go help the attack because then they feel fear like they're just going to get ambushed or like mm. somebody's going to swoop in when they leave and attack one of these ports. Mm. They do know that this, they do know that this war could end if like, if they can take any one of the port cities away from Cran, um, they don't think they could win a ground invasion against Meregian for the way they fight. 
Oh, they fight good. They do. Trust me. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. <laughs> Not good enough, but they do fight good, and they. Oh, they do a lot of drugs too. Yes, they do a lot of drugs yep. too. All yep. oh, hopped up on hashish. But I still yep. beat them. Well, I know Commodore doesn't want us to get directly involved in the war. Agreed. Yeah. Ah, so that's where a couple of people are disappointed, but um, out of the people, out of all the people who talked to, it seems about like ten percent have heard have started to hear about this death cult. So that, like the one or two people, they go, "Oh, right, the death cult." Please, please put an end to that. It it makes me nervous hearing about these fanatics out here up to no good, summoning demons to ports and ruining mm -hmm. people's lives. Yeah, the death cult doesn't care what flag you're flying. They will yep. go for you and your children, and they need to be stopped. Absolutely. So instead of getting wrapped up in this unfortunate war, we will remain neutral and continue to hunt down true evil. Stay vigilant. And uh, and and build morale for the people by putting on great shows of fantastic feet. No, really, no, no love. Yeah. <laughs> That's your thing. I mean, we don't, that's your thing. Yeah, yeah. Thing, we baby. support you. No love. No, we go. We bet on your match. Oh, we got that's experience. So you you get the same offer from the governor. Uh, he says like, any if you guys need any resources from me to help you in your next steps against this death cult, or you know, we we will help out with the kids who are sold here on Avakava Island. Um, we can write to the other port cities with the names and whatnot, but you might have to go in person. Um, Soviers are also going to be placed on an embargo from entering and trading with all of Deergun, and they are now everybody on all the names on that list are now wanted. Um, he also mentions that he recognizes the name Devon Ackerman and says that uh, he knows of that noble who's going who's got something against the metallic dragons and has gone on a hunting party yeah. he has heard that he's slain a brass dragon oh, and is sake. now hunting a copper dragon that is over on uh pura island what is wrong with this dude he's fucking leveling up for the boss fight against us uh -huh. Leave the poor dragons alone. Do, is there something on the dragons that can be used for spells, for like ingredients? Yeah, conquest on his list of accomplishments. Uh, he does not uh. know if he's hunting the dragons for trophy to build something, but you know he knows that every dragon would have its hoard, and you know, uh, killing a dragon, getting access to the hoard, who knows what kind of wealth and <laughs> magical items he would have at his disposal. Yes. Money is power. Yes, those hordes. Well, we have the main screen, so I'm assuming GG. <laughs> good night, ever battle. That was fun. Great we did playing. a good job. Great game tonight. Very happy. Very proud of everybody. That was, that was really fun. <laughs> Hey RJ, whenever you got a chance, I would like to retcon my my whatever gaming session of me not being here and being yeah, left you got, behind you, on an island. Shit, yeah, you actually know. I mean, you had you got two weeks of downtime. You did say pit fighting. I remember because I actually rewatched the stream. Thank you, Shannon, for recording those. Um, let me log back in and do the rolls, and you could do your rolls against it. Sweet. Yay. GG, guys, and have a great night. Good night. All right, hey. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out. As always, I will be putting this stream on uh, the YouTube channel so that we can have it for prosperity and for uh, memory sake, because uh, no one gets to remember all the details. This is a lot. It's a death cult, enslavers, and... Uh, ships and murder and politics and it's a lot so yes uh if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to message scout trooper v he is our dm and he is fabulous and he keeps us going <laughs>
I'm not gonna say keeps us in a, a straight line because we're everywhere. Because this is like a sandbox thing. But have a great night, everybody. I hope to play more video games uh, over the weekend. Pit fighting checks, hell yeah. They're doing it. Good night, everybody. <laughs>